All right, everyone, welcome to another day at Cecil County Dragway. We got the cars revving up in the background, but um, yeah, so we got some pretty good DA today. Let's check that. All right, so our DA today is negative 1100, so not as good as it was last week at MIR, but still very good DA. Um, put a couple gallons of fuel in the car. We just got over a quarter of a tank. Probably gonna run some more 10 O's today. Maybe set a new personal best, we shall see. But we got everything hooked up. And um, yeah, I'll get back with you when we're making some passes. First pass, 1019, I was really, really slow in the 60 foot. They hit that tree like immediately, but I should have waited and built up more RPM. I'm pretty sure my RPM weren't really high enough. But um, yeah, we'll make another pass. Still got plenty of time today. All right, so uh, just had to oil down. As you can see, we were the next pair down. So uh, we're gonna wait a bit.
might have been a 10-0. We'll see. Draggy said 10-12. Thank you. Yep. There we go. I think that might be a new personal best. 10073. I don't remember what the 1007 last week was. Let me take my helmet off here real quick. I don't remember what it was last week, but another 1007 at a different track on a different day. Similar DA. Let's take a look at the DA real quick while we're here. Oh, my phone is um, temperature because it's been sitting in the sun. Well, we'll get back with you when we get in the pits and I cool the phone down. All right, everyone, we're doing something a little bit different on this pass. As you can see, we're missing something. Passenger seats out and all of the uh, stuff in the trunk has been taken out. Close this door so you can hear me. Um, all the passenger seats out, all the stuff in the trunk is taken out. Should be roughly 70 pounds. So we ran a 1007, our last pass. Take out 70 pounds, should be 10 0, maybe 9999999. So um, let's see how it goes. Um, I'll check the DA once we get closer, but yeah, let's go. Seems that uh, I was right. Not a nine, ten oh six nine, one forty three sixty. So we're a little slower in the sixty. But I guess it's a new personal best, but not a new stock personal best. Even though it's only a hundredth faster, or not even a couple thousands faster than what we ran earlier. But we can't do anything about the weather. So um, yeah, we'll uh, see you back at the house. All right, everyone, so wrapping up our second day of racing of the 2021 season, our second test in tune. Um, it was okay. You know, we had a good day. We set a new personal best. As you saw by our third pass, we did take out the passenger seat um, to try and some of the trunk stuff. I don't even know if I showed that on video. But we took out the passenger seat, and like the trunk liner and stuff like that, because during the second pass, we ran that 10.07. I figured if we take out, you know, the 70 pounds, we might hit that 10.00 or 9.9. Didn't happen, unfortunately. As you would have seen in the video, we ran a 10.069. Uh, we'll look at the time slips in a second. But the reason why we didn't end up running faster is, of course, the DA. We lost some of the good DA from the morning by the time we ran into the afternoon. So first pass, the DA was like around negative 11.50, I think is what I showed you guys. Second pass was around negative 8.50. And then our third pass of the day was about negative 500. So it was, we were gradually losing the weather throughout the day. It was getting significantly warmer. I think it warmed up about 10 degrees while we were there. So it's what it is. I should have maybe, if I wanted to run that 9-9, maybe taken the passenger seat out. First pass down the track or, well, second pass since that was our fastest. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the time slips. And I'll kind of run over what exactly happened with them. All right, so first pass here, 10-19. 
148 60 foot and that's where we basically lost everything um we've been in the low four or one fours lately like 141 142 lost it on the 60 foot there i just didn't have i was kind of, I, I don't know why i was kind of rushed for the first pass of the day maybe it was just jitters or something like that but i didn't get the rpms up high enough on the launch and there's our slow 60 foot because of it and we basically lost it the whole way down the track moving over to our second pass uh 10.073 so that is our new personal best completely stock no weight reduction last weekend at mir we ran a 10.075 i believe it was now we have a 10.073 so that is technically our new personal best for completely bone stock no weight reduction just wheels and tires hellcat red eye and then as you can see here our new overall personal best with taking the seats out but we did lose some da like i already stated 10.069 135 so um yeah all right so that's going to wrap up this video for the racing um if you liked it give it a like comment below your thoughts not sure we're going to be doing many more test and tunes because the test and tune aspect for me now is to try and set a new personal best or maybe potentially break the record or whatever it is maybe get this car as fast as it could possibly go the problem is springtime is coming well it's basically here it's warming up. We're not going to be setting these tenos much longer, if ever again for the rest of the year, depending on the weather. So we're going to start creeping back into those 10 ones, 10 twos, 10 threes, which is still very fast, but not fast enough for me to go out and beat up on the car, you know, take passes off the tires and do that for test and tunes. So probably the only racing we're actually going to be doing with the car is actually going to be at events where I'm entering bracket classes or index classes to potentially win money to for some of the tires and stuff like that so that's going to be it for today um, like i said before if you liked it go ahead and give me that like comment below your thoughts subscribe to the channel we're getting close to that 1000 um, and that's gonna be it take care have a great day